Hello and welcome back. And this recipe is for chicken thigh sarg done Punjabi style, Punjabi takeaway. It's based around the flavours of a Punjabi takeaway that we've got here in Oldham. Um, slightly different from Bangladeshi stuff. I always found it a bit more spicy and a bit more savoury and salty and uh, very rare to find. So enjoy cooking this recipe. It's uh, something I've tweaked over the years and feel that like I've nailed it somewhere recently and uh, that's why I'm sharing it with you now. So enjoy cooking it, subscribe to my channel and take care, stay safe. Okay, so take three Kashmiri chilies and soak them in hot water, put them aside and get a tablespoon of coriander, a tablespoon of cumin and a tablespoon of fennel seed. Look how beautiful and green they are. And half, well, basically a teaspoon of cassia bark Spin it in the whirly gig and turn it into a fine powder. Set it aside. Next up is the garlic ginger coriander puree. So about five garlic cloves and about a good thick thumbs worth of ginger cut across the stem like that so it um, purees easier. And then a good handful of coriander and a splash of water so it blends. There you go, turn that into a fine puree. Look at that green, oh my days. So much flavor. Set it aside. Get those Kashmiri chilies that you've been soaking. A tiny, tiny bit of water from the, the liquor at the bottom and puree it and put that aside and you are pretty much prepped and ready to go. So take a medium sized onion and grate it into a pan and then add some oil and start frying it, okay? Start that, add a bit of salt to start breaking down uh, the onions. <laughs> and a little teaspoon of fennel, a little teaspoon of cumin. The reason I do that is just you get little pops in your mouth that accentuate that sort of flavor. So obviously the spice mix, a bit of turmeric's gone there as well, but obviously the spice mix um, has all these elements in it. So when you have an extra bit of cumin, it accentuates that flavor. That's my theory behind it. It's nice to have a little surprise pop in your mouth. So. Um, tomato puree, about half a tin, start frying that in and stir it into the, uh, the onion and turmeric. There you go, keep frying that in for a few moments. There we go, nicely sort of mixed in now, the tomatoes are frying off, get rid of that sharpness and take a pack of chicken thighs and fry them, get all the rawness out of them, a bit of colour just about cooking them through to the center because obviously you will be boiling them uh well simmering them in the sauce as well so you really want to take that chicken to just about cooked so that there's no rawness and you can just concentrate on simmering the sauce and that'll just take it to that point where the chicken is still absolutely succulent and soft but cook right through so it ain't gonna kill you <laughs> and take that Kashmiri chili paste and fry that in quickly and add uh, two chopped up tomatoes um, but before you chop them up cut out the nipply bit in the middle the stem or the stalk or whatever it's called cut that out put uh, put about two chopped tomatoes in and give it a stir and get those uh, tomato juices mixing in with all those spices that are in there so far. It's very similar to how I do the handy recipe, the chicken thigh handy. Um, now make a well in the middle and we're gonna fry off the onion, coriander, ginger puree. Um, frying it off just to make that, take off that really super earthy, strong um, flavor, just, just to take the edge off that basically. Raw garlic is pretty hardcore in it, so we fry it to take the edge off and then add in all that spice that you made at the start, okay? Yeah, stir that in and fry it. Uh, only for a minute and add about a third of a pint of water, yeah? And now what's gonna happen is that's gonna simmer and all those spices are gonna release their oils and flavors into the chicken as it's simmering in that looks like a fantastic curry already does it not now unlike me normally i'm adding a tablespoon of a shop bought bolty paste and i'll give you the brand uh, it's not patax it's another one from the asian supermarket and this to me gives it that edge that made it taste like uh, the punjari punjabi takeaway um sag that we used to get uh, from up in near royton um 
in Oldham, off Oldham. And then add a tin of uh, sag. So there you go, a tin of sag goes in, you stir it in now. Let that simmer. If you think it needs a little bit more water, then add it in. Um, but just let that simmer for a short while. Let that spinach cook through and heat through. And you are pretty much there. Dish it up into a aluminium takeaway pot to make it look proper. And garnish with some coriander and julienne ginger. Yes, julienne is how I'm pronouncing it, even though it probably makes you feel a bit nauseous to hear me even say it in my northern accent, but there you go. So there we are, that is my Punjabi style chicken thigh sarg. It's fit, full of flavour. Enjoy cooking it, and as always, please subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing and would really help me out. Bye.